Hello, STAT students. I'm going to try to quickly walk you through how to run a z-test in JASP for your homework three assignment. So in this data file, we have, we're going to focus here on this emotional intelligence total score. And so what we want to do is the, the mean uh, and standard deviation for this emotional intelligence scale is a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And by the way, that's something that would just be given to you on the homework assignment. So for, if I wanted to run a z-test on this, I'd go to t-test. I know that doesn't seem obvious, but you know, you'll know you notice here there's nothing in here for, for a z-test. We go to the t-test, and we go to one sample t-test. We bring that up, and so in here, what I'm going to do is find that emotional intelligence total score, and I put that over there, and then down here is where the z-test is. So I don't want the student t. We'll be doing that in the next homework assignment. I want the z-test, and you'll notice here it says test value. That's where I put that mean of 50. So in your homework, it'll tell you the exact mean to use uh, to put in there for that, okay? So it's a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And I want to emphasize for your homework assignment, it's going to be a different population mean and standard deviation. Put that one in for your homework assignment. So we have that in there. Um, we want effect sizes. We want in descriptive statistics for this. And so you'll see we'll, we'll start to, it's working on that, getting that information up over here. And so you'll notice it has a Z statistic of 4.45. That's basically saying that the mean difference, this mean um, as compared to the population mean of 50, is almost about four and a half times larger than what we'd expect by chance. Remember, we always look at this, our little heuristic here is if it's at 0 0.05 or less, um, it's statistically significant, it definitely is here. And then the Cohen's D, um, that's just those mean differences, 55.13 minus 50, um, divided by this uh, standard deviation. Um, and so that gives us the 0.513, which, um, you know, it means that the mean difference is about half a standard deviation um, large. The difference is about half a standard deviation large, which would be um, certainly a, a medium effect of what we think of for, um, for Cohen's D, for how we interpret Cohen's D. Okay, so you have all that information there. Um, you have the mean and the sample size and that here. And then um, in your homework, you have to write up the results. So this is what that write-up might, might look like here for that. Uh, emotional intelligence scores of supervisors in, in this study. And then I have the mean and standard deviation for that. That's right here, that information. And you'll remember I'm italicizing any symbols that I write. I'm italicizing those. They were significantly higher than the population, and that was that mean of 50 and standard deviation of 10 that we talked about. And then at the end, this is our, um, our, our little shorthand, statistical shorthand. So Z equals 4.45. Um, you see that here. And when we report results, we remember we only usually go two decimal places out. P less than 0 .001, that's what you see here. And then D um, e equals 0.51, and that's what you see um, here as well. So I'm hoping that helps you out for, um, for homework three on the Z-test. As always, if you have questions, just reach out and contact me. Good luck.